Hi you all, this is Jamaican Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a super fun craft, a DIY Converse or shoe tumbler. Stay tuned. So I wanna be totally transparent with you all. It took me several times to accomplish this. Um, when I went on YouTube, they were telling me how long, the temperature, the time, and it's based off of your particular oven, convection oven, air fryer, whatever you're using, that's the temperature you will use. Um, I use, you might see some a different number in the video, but the temperature that worked best for me was 365 degrees, four minutes in which I was able to rotate it halfway and that got me the look I was going for. As you can see, originally I was just burning tumblers and I had to try over and over again and hopefully for my mistakes, you all will be able to make your tumbler right the first time and you won't have to go through as many tumblers as I had to, to accomplish this look. First thing I did, I wiped off the tumbler with some rubbing alcohol, let that dry, and I'm trimming down the sublimation sheet that I have to make sure it fits the tumbler. And I'm getting it nice and tight and I'm using my heat transfer tape. And guys, don't worry, all the supplies will be listed in the description with links. So I'm getting it nice and tight, making sure it's even. You wanna make sure those lines match up so that it won't be crooked. We'll also be using shrink wrap to get it nice and tight. Um, I didn't have any issues with that. And as you know, I'm using a blow dryer cause I didn't get a heat gun yet. So um, it worked well for me. I'll disregard the temperature that's actually on the oven because I redid this one and we did 365 for four minutes. Um, every two minutes I rotated it to the other side and that's what helped me not to burn it again. <laughs> See you all, this is why I said avoid the hot glue gun. Look at that. So I had to use, like I said, the gooby gone. So I do suggest using the little small tip super glue to apply those picture hanger hooks. Find you some cheap laces. And after you do that, you can just stop at this step. I wanted to, um, I mean, you could take the laces out and wash the tumbler like that and keep the laces clean. But I decided to go another route, which you'll see in a minute. Again, if you're satisfied with just the laces being in like that, that is completely fine and it'll still look super cute. 
but I decided to try epoxy for the first time. So let's see how that's gonna go. All right, so this is more trial. So I'm going to unlace everything and I'm gonna use that um, super glue that I told you about with the sharp precision tip. And I'm going to kind of glue the laces onto the tumbler just so to make it a little bit sturdier when I'm doing the epoxy. Uh, this is the moment I was like, oh, what am I doing? If you have never worked with epoxy before, um, this may be challenging like it was for me. So hopefully as I continue to work on my crafting, I will be great at using epoxy. Um, I wasn't quite sure the process of pouring it on to eliminate some of those lumps and bumps and bubbles. And so I left that on the rotator for about six hours and then I took it off and let it dry. And I did a second coat of epoxy on that. So um, I hope you all like it. And please feel free to subscribe. Happy crafting, everyone.